special containment procedure. Foundation web crawler Iona Tatarin is to search for and delete all posts to online forums containing SCP-5079. The web crawler is to post this address. If a new web address is registered, then MTF personnel are to be mobilized to investigate and detain any individual who has posted SCP-5079. SCP-5079-1 instances are to be transported to converted medical centers in York, England, overseen by Site-91 personnel. Cover stories concerning the SCP-5079-1 instance are to be prepared in case any family or investigation queries the instance's whereabouts. Police records concerning SCP-5079-1 instances are to be sanitized and emergency personnel finding an instance of SCP-5079-1 are to be administered class of amnestics. Description. SCP-5079 is a self-executing, carnomantic-1 ritual targeting a small segment of the population that converts soft tissue of the body to tissue resembling the cellular structure of fungi. Subjects who are afflicted by SCP-5079 will begin to generate fungal structures attaching the body to the surrounding area shortly after encountering the thaumaturgically charged language of SCP-5079. Generation of fungal structures starts with the conversion of soft tissues in the body, but then shifts to cellular duplication. Growth analysis shows rapid generation of fungal tendrils taking less than 12 hours to firmly attach the subject with furniture and building structures. Tendrils of fungal material also generate inwards, encroaching into the body's remaining soft tissues. Genetic analysis of the fungal growth continue to show human animal generated biological material. Fungal structures are capable of capturing carbon dioxide and taking sustenance from sunlight through photosynthesis. Residual human systems persist subject to encroachment of fungal materials into the body, allowing for intravenous feeding. SCP-5079-1 instances produce extremely high levels of oxytocin and melatonin when compared to a normally healthy human subject unaffected by SCP-5079. Approximately 35% of SCP-5079-1 instances succumb to the transfiguration of SCP-5079 eventually suffering brain death due to lack of sustenance or hydration. The other 65% of SCP-5079-1 instances maintain normal brainwave activity and have shown expected levels of awareness, subject to physiological changes to sensory organs. However, only one instance of SCP-5079-1 has shown a willingness to speak. Instances of SCP-5079-1 are capable of continued life signs with proper treatment for approximately 3 to 4 years. Foundation researchers are developing possible treatments to reverse the process through pharmaceutical, thaumaturgical, and physiological mechanisms. Thaumaturgical methods have thus far been able to slow the process and, in some cases, hold it completely. Treatment protocols, instances of SCP-5079-1 are to be put into medically induced comas and intravenously fed. Additionally, instances are to be surgically excised from surrounding areas of their discovery and transported to converted medical facilities for caregiving by Foundation Medical Services. To date, over 1,000 individuals have been designated as SCP-5079-1. Targeted individuals. SCP-5079 only affects individuals that show a high incidence of correlation to a list of identifying aspects. Between 17 and 35 years old. Highly uncomfortable with in-person social interactions. Almost no social support structures. Either not employed or employed in positions that require little to no interaction with others. Spend significant amounts of their waking hours online does not endorse any religious or political ideology. Often frequents Reddit communities such as our social anxiety and or our social skills. SCP-5079 has no effect on individuals that are inconsistent with the profile as outlined above. Discovery. SCP-5079-1 
1079 was originally brought to Foundation personnel's attention due to a series of missing person reports resulting in the discovery of SCP-5079, one instances across continental Europe, the United Kingdom and the United States, beginning in August 2011. All initial instances were traced back to a series of posts by the Reddit user JK Sloan 211. 2. Interview of SCP-5079, one instance. Investigation into SCP-5079, single quote S origins. Given the cardiomantic nature of SCP-5079, Dr. Preda consulted with Dr. Judith Lowe, senior advisor at the Foundation Department of History. Dr. Lowe believes that SCP-5079 is derived from an Akka ritual referenced to in a passage of the Solomonary Vox Aaron 4 the purpose of which was to create a joint being out of multiple individuals. Dr. Lowe further opined that the ritual was not intended to be shared as anonymous information, as typically it would be enacted to join those with intimate connections to one another. That is members of a small community. However, Dr. Lowe believes that if instances of SCP-5079-1 were to be placed close together, they would merge and eventually form an unknown instance. Five Dr. Lowe believes that keeping the instances physically separate would hold such a merged instance from developing. The Ethics Committee has ruled that experiments with instances of SCP-5079-1 towards testing Dr. Lowe's hypothesis are inhumane and are not permitted at this time. All SCP-5079-1 instances are to be kept physically separate and treated in order to preserve life and potentially halt the progression of SCP-5079. Any purposes and features of this hypothetical joint being are unknown at this time. Review of Sylvia Frivers' online activity revealed a post containing SCP-5079 shared on our social anxiety data 2011-08-06. The IP address of the device used to post SCP-5079 was traced back to a flat in Newcastle, Northern England, owned by Jacob Bell. Survey of Reddit and other online forums found over 35 posts containing the Dovaturgically active language of SCP-5079. All posts containing SCP-5079 were traced back to Bell's IP address from their respective servers. MTF Beta 777 Mobilization Log Bell's hard drive contained numerous digital documents concerning thaumaturgy, a copy of the Solomonary Voxeron, and numerous diagrams for carnomantic rituals. Research into Bell's family has shown no connections to any known neo or protozarchic counts. Also recovered from Bell's flat was several self-help books with a focus on interpersonal communication and creating lasting bonds. The books are worn and have been heavily annotated by one individual's handwriting. Recovered chat logs from Bell's computer. After several months without the appearance of any new SCP-5079-1 instances, the classification committee was considering the reclassification to neutralized. However, on 2012-01-19, Several new posts containing SCP-5079 were spotted by Aoma Tatran and were deleted within seconds. The IP addresses of the posters were traced back to six new individual Reddit user accounts. When interviewed, the users universally stated they saw the original posts months before and saved them and then re-uploaded. One of the new posters stated I like the look of it. Cool occult language. Thought others would get a kick out of it. All six were administered class of amnestics and are under observation for signs of SCP-5079 single quote S effects. Footnotes. 1. Commonly known as flesh grafting, carnomancy is a thaumaturgical tradition focused on the shaping of the body through anomalous means. 2. Review of this user's history of activity on Reddit reveals dozens of posts discussing the user's anxiety over connecting with others and their failed attempts at doing so. 3. Miss Fervor had some buildup of fungal growths encroaching on her airways in the throat region. 4. Not the holy book concerning the teachings and mythos of Grand Carsisian. 5. Based on her translation and analysis of the Solomonary Voxeron. 6. Experts in thaumaturgical analysis and diffusal of thaumaturgical countermeasures. 
7. Cleanse the Vomitologist. 8. Tendrils of bloody fungus firmly attached the cadaver to an office chair, most of the flooring in the flat, and significant portions of the walls. Review of the video shows fungal material slowly growing on surfaces and exuding moist spores. <laughs>